time it's Thursday 6 35 I woke up at 6 I'm a little like still waking up I just realized the sweatshirt I love shrank in the wash so I'm trying to order a new one online and not put it in the dryer um yeah I am just about to have my breakfast and then the kids are gonna get up I made the lunches yesterday so we're gonna get the door for school All right, it is now 1.20 and I am like trying to keep my eyes open. I'm so tired. <sighs> Guys, let's chat for a second. There's gonna be some changes and it's not bad changes. It's all good and I think you'll like them. Um, and I also wanna give you a bit of a life update. So let's start with the life update. Things are good. Things are good, like I can't complain. It's more the honeymoon is over. School, we're in the second week of school and um, we're tired, I'm tired, I feel a little spread thin. It's very different than how our life has been the last few years because uh, as I'm looking at this like pile of mess, our whole house is a mess. In fact, let me just show you guys. You know I like to be real. Um, I feel spread thin and basically it comes down to there's less hours in the day for me now with the twins in daycare because drop off takes longer and I get home later in the morning and then I have to leave a little earlier because the kindergarten pickup is earlier and then I'm like on mom duty. Um, a lot of times, a couple times a week to catch up on work, I would pick up the big kids from school, come home and they're like self-sufficient, don't want to hang with me anyway straight after school, that I'd work actually a couple more hours and then get the twins a lot of days and that's just not an option anymore. Um, so I'm feeling that crunch. Also, work has been consistently busy still, um, which is amazing. I'm talking about paid work when people, like, like sometimes people say, what's your job? My job's nesting story with the blog and with the channel and partnering with brands and going to events and um, different things like that and even actually speaking engagements coming up. So it usually has busy periods and then slower kind of times in between and the great thing is I'm just been consistently busy and the work has just been flowing in which is a great problem to have but it's um just a lot on my plate and I'm trying to figure out the new normal so the other thing is I'm trying to really put a lot more time into my kids and I've told a couple of friends lately and some people who've been wanting to hang out or get together it's a busy season in life right now for me and um it's different than when the kids are young and it's a lot has to do with the big kids. So for the longest time, um, things were pretty like simple, like feed the kids when they're sad, like from hurting themselves, comfort them and put them to bed. And then I would have an evening to myself. And now that the older kids are getting like much older, it's like this turning point they are hanging out with friends and want to have friends over and then there's more complicated things especially with Bo she's um in grade two and I remember being like this too where she wants to talk a lot and talk um you know about friends and maybe a bad day but there's a lot of like emotional support and everything that I feel like they're needing a lot more of especially later in the evenings when the twins have gone to bed and that's not just kind of tiring, it's time consuming, but I want to be there and I, I enjoy being there for the kids, but it's like this whole chunk of time in my life that used to be part of when I could go um, be social or when I could have the time for me is now also taken up. And I don't want to take that away from them. I think it's really important to be able to be there. Obviously, I have to carve out some time for me. So I'm actually like having a bath every evening right when the twins go to bed. Um, and then before I kind of jump into evening stuff, um, hang out with Mike or with the older kids, just to have that moment where I can just gather myself again and pamper myself a little bit in between. Um, and then we also have date night and stuff and there are times that I'm going out with um, friends but it's like definitely less often. I feel like I'm really trying to be more present. I think for a long time I was kind of like so tied up with work stuff in the evenings and I'm just trying to really be there. Um, so it's this really exciting, interesting time in life but it's really, it's hard because I'm just trying to find our new normal right now and feel, 
basically look at my schedule and prioritize properly and see like where can I be more efficient and where is this extra time going to come from? How can I utilize my team more? Things like that. So that's kind of like what's going on with me. Everyone's doing well. There's been some bumps in the road with starting school, but right now everyone's thriving. I can say that. But I wanted to talk about, um, I think a change I really want to make right now to the channel, and it's not a huge change. In fact, I think you guys will like it better too. Um, as I've been talking about lately, I'm moving nesting story just a bit less about the kids. Um, they're still going to be in it, but it's just less focused on them, especially the older kids, and they don't want to be so in it as much and i don't want them to be as in it as much as they're getting older and they have their own lives and it is supposed to be through my lens and i'm i really want to share more things like a day in the life or a morning or after school routine or haul videos which i know you guys really like home videos um and i really like doing the fold because the fold is great it's that time a week where i get to be really like give advice or share and be vulnerable with mike so that's something for at least now we're going to keep wednesday videos we're going to keep with those kind of different lifestyle videos and then friday's vlogs um I, I'm finding myself just my heart's not in it lately for the vlogs and I think it's probably because I can tell you're not as interested too the the views are low and um, but anytime I'm, I'm noticing I show something more specialized like a grocery haul or a routine video on a Friday you love it and I and I get it and I get why so what I'm gonna do on Fridays is kind of switch it up a bit there may be weeks where there's still a vlog, but there there's gonna be a lot of weeks where that opens up opportunity for more of these types of videos that I know a lot of you are coming to my channel for. So um, yeah, and I'm, I'm doing things like, like, I've started to learn how to shop online for my fall stuff, which if you've been following for a while, you know it's a big deal for me, and I'd like to share more about that type of thing and more of the things that I like or that I'm doing or that I'm trying to clean out in the house, things like that, um, instead of just like random day-to-day -day stuff because I'm so active on Insta stories it feels very redundant and I've had a lot of people comment and say this is exactly what I just saw on Insta stories so if you love the day-to-day -day vlog stuff please follow me on Instagram I'll be showing it there in Insta stories and you guys know that um, all the videos I put out are very vlog style. I like to keep things casual and um, what, how do I put it? Less like overproduced. I just really like vlog style with whatever I shoot so it will have that, that feeling to it. But Fridays won't always be vlogs. I would love to know in the comments what kind of lifestyle videos you'd like to see more of and um, yeah, what would you like to see? What would you like to see um, me do? I think my next one may be me just pulling out some decorations for fall because I'm trying to think how, I, and I talked about this in my last video, like what am I gonna do for fall decorating? Am I gonna decorate for fall? That's like this conundrum in my mind right now. So I may have that as next Friday. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. Like you guys don't understand. I appreciate it so much. I read every comment. I try to get back to as many of you as I can. It's a lot because there's also the blog and it, it life gets busy and I my I always have my priorities and my priorities are to get those three videos a, a week um, and then kind of like get try to get to as many of other things as I can. But I do read all of them and appreciate them and they're just like 99.9% .9 the most positive supportive comments and I really feel like we are this community of people who are a lot of us in the same place and if not in the same place there's a lot of people who've been where we are and and give great advice in the comment section or um, people who are younger who maybe haven't entered this season of life but are um trying to explore like what would life be like that like that and it's cool when I see um, people who are maybe 19 or even in high school who are watching the videos it's like I'm almost able to give advice to a younger me if that makes any sense anyways I appreciate I appreciate all of you so much and um, I'm really excited for this like next season and next chapter and of navigating life I think I'm gonna need to do at some point an after-school evening routine because 
it's very specific right now and it's very driven by the fact that the twins are in school. Um, it's just hard to, there, it may just, there may be some like meltdowns either in the background or something or something that I just have to navigate for that one. Anyways, thank you again so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love for you to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.